or how many students wait for the bus when they could walk so much quicker to class, but they will wait. So common sense is not so common when it comes to physical activity because we know we need to be active. That's not good. Oh, I don't need this. I'm already late. Somebody will come. Anybody out there? Do you have a phone? No. Sorry. Somebody! Hello? There are two people stuck on an escalator and we need help. Now. Would somebody please do something? Help! 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 <laughs> I don't believe this. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> well, there's not enough left to do, is it? An individual has no interest in adopting a healthy lifestyle. I can, but I'm not going to. I won't. The symptoms could include these. All of these up here, but I especially like this one. You feel threatened when someone suggests that you could be healthier if you change the way you eat? Or you feel discouraged because you tried to make changes before, but you failed. And um, I didn't put anything up about the stages of change, but in the stages of change model, you contemplate a, something about changing a behavior, and then you think about it, you, you pre-contemplate, then you contemplate, then you prepare to change your behavior, and then you actually take the action to change the behavior, and then you maintain that behavior. The thing about that whole stages of change is it's cyclical. How many of you have said to yourself, oh, I'm gonna eat healthier, and you start, and you do it for six weeks, and then all of a sudden, you go back. But that's okay, you can relapse, you can get back on. So if you think that you've already made, or you feel discouraged because you tried to make changes before but you failed, that stages of change model says don't feel discouraged, just restart. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends 30 minutes of activity every day. This is from a group called Wellcoa and they state that most 70, most 75 percent exactly of Americans do not meet this goal. Exercise 30 to 40 minutes a day must, most days a week can delay your onset of disability by 10 to 12 years. That's unbelievable, especially if you're 62 like I am.